There is a fallacy that it is possible for a utopian society to exist among human beings. And I say that it's a fallacy because I just, you know, from all of my thinking over the years and my, my casual and more formal uh, education, my study, I just come to the conclusion that human beings happen to be the type of critters who are not going to wind up having a perfect society. Now, there are people who think that they can get really close. And they say, well, if we centrally plan things, if we come up with this uh, way of, you know, we're going to force these people to do this, we won't allow those people to do that, we will take control of everything that everyone produces, we'll think about how we're going to distribute it and then give portions of it to certain people in certain ways, and we're going to tell people how to think, uh, we're going to tell them what to believe, that no, when you're seeing that thing that traditionally you have thought is one thing, it really isn't that, it is something else. And if you still think that it is that other thing, then you are bad and evil and mean and prejudicial. There's a lot of central planning proponents who believe that a few human beings, a few fallible human beings, if they're really, really smart and they have really, really cool degrees with big names and really nice parchment paper that they have hanging on their walls, that they can get together with the most wealthy people and the most charismatic people who have become politicians. And if those people all team up together, they are going to be able to come up with a utopian society, or at least one really close to it. And that's what we should strive for, and that's what we should go for. And I gotta tell you, I don't think so. I think that that's ridiculous. I think that I can't even control small aspects of my own life properly. And neither can anyone else. Nobody can do it with absolute perfection and precision. Because life is complex. And I could say that, well, I have decided I'm never going to get into an automobile collision. Well, uh, somebody might run into me that I, I try to drive defensively, but I get hit by somebody. I, I can't know what's going to happen. And then if I get hit by a, a vehicle, I can't really control completely whether or not I'm going to be injured seriously. If I could wear a seatbelt, I could choose a vehicle that has airbags and other safety measures, crumple zones and all this. But I still, there's so much in complex situations that can't be predicted or uh, prevented. And so the idea that a few of the smartest and best minds, and of course I'm not talking about politicians, but I think politicians would argue, okay, we know we've lost all credibility and it's just kind of out of habit that people continue to vote, but we are able to compile experts. We're able to bring together these wonderful minds and those wonderful minds are who are telling us how you should live your lives so that it will result in a utopian society. Yeah, hogwash, I say. I really think that each individual ought to make their own decisions as best they can, suck it up when things go wrong, because they most certainly will, plan better in the future, and live their own lives. Does this not make more sense?